Hi, and welcome to another WatchGeek video. Today, we get to spend some time with the so-called King G-Shock, the GXW56. I will also be doing a tutorial on this, so stay tuned for that video as well. The King was introduced in 2010 as an answer to the oversized watches trend. G-Shocks were always larger than regular watches, and Casio felt like they're losing the crown of being big and bold with all the new oversized models from other manufacturers. So they decided to respond with this. They went with the classic square shape as a tribute to the original G-Shock from 1983, but oversized and over-engineered everything about the watch. This watch is huge to the point of being ridiculous. The best way to demonstrate just how big it is, is to see it next to a regular square like my DW5000. I have a feeling like they took a regular square and added another bezel around it. It's more than 55mm lug to lug and over 53mm side to side. The thickness is also incredible at 17.5, so unless you're a really really big guy, this watch will dwarf your wrist. When it came out, it was available in two variants, Solar Only and Solar Atomic like this one. Solar Atomic versions were reserved for Japanese domestic market with only one Atomic variant coming to the US, and I believe it was the Purple Black version. Also most, if not all versions, came with a negative screen, with this one being one of the rare models that comes with a positive. The Solar Only models have a designation GX56, while Solar Atomics are GXW. Make sure to pay attention when buying them so you don't end up with the wrong watch. Casio discontinued the GX variant pretty quickly and with the GXW being reserved for Japanese market only, it helped this watch achieve cult status among collectors. Recently, Casio reintroduced the lineup which means they're once again readily available. Like I said, this watch is not just oversized but also over-engineered. It was the first G-Shock to feature alpha gel as an absorbing material. And I'll put a link to the video that shows just how amazing that material is. It features double the protection layers that normal G-Shocks have and even a double mineral crystal. The double crystal didn't prove to be a great idea as some watches were known to develop condensation between the two layers. But those were rare. The buttons are covered with additional protection, making this mud resist as well. And the strap and buckle feature screws instead of spring bars. Even the double tank bead blasted buckle makes regular G-Shock buckles look flimsy. When it comes to functions, the watch is loaded with the usual tech. It is a true dual time watch as you have the option of displaying two time zones at the same time on the home screen. The time zones that can be selected include any of the 31 time zones and 48 cities available in the world time function. It also comes with 5 alarms, a 24 hour stopwatch that can measure down to 1 100th of a second and a 24 hour countdown timer settable down to a minute. All models are self charging with GXW models being self adjusting as well as they have the ability to connect to all 6 towers in the world. Although I wear and prefer smaller watches, G-Shocks are kind of an exception. With G-Shocks, I sometimes dare to wear a watch that I will usually dismiss as too big. This, however, looks comical on my wrist and even the fact it's a G-Shock doesn't save it from simply being too big for me. The funny thing is that despite the ridiculous size, I actually like it. I like the look, I even like the proportions. Some people complained how the watch has grown but the screen and numerals have remained small. If Casio made everything bigger, you would have ended up with just a blown up regular square. But like this, you have a feeling like the module and screen are buried deeper inside to make them even safer than usual. I love that and I can see why it has gained a cult status. In my opinion, if you can wear it, it should definitely be a part of your collection if you're a G-Shock lover. Well this completes the review, so thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe by pressing this button right here and until the next video, bye.